What were some of the biggest challenges when you were leading the NAACP? There were so many. <laughs> but I think, uh, or, 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 let, let me try to outline them as briefly as I can. Okay. One was being female. Chairman. And I insisted on being called chairman, not chairwoman. <laughs> Strength. <laughs> That's right. Power. Okay. Um, there was a, uh, th there was a thought that, that a woman could not do the job. Okay? I was told specifically that I could not do the job because I didn't have the qualifications for it. I was only Medgar's widow. So I simply said, you have not read my resume. You, you really don't know what I've done or what I can do, do you? In addition to the fact that you have done so much work for the NAACP. It didn't matter. Okay. All right, go ahead. I was Medgar's widow, right. and that was it. And that was a part of the campaign strategy against me. Well, politics is politics. I, I, it, it, it can be hard and difficult and dirty and all of the other, but that, that was a challenge there within itself. That was a health challenge because I'd lost Walter. I was never really got a chance to mourn him right then. I had surgery two weeks later on, on, on my uh, right eye. Um, the organization was in chaos, um, split in two major f factions. Uh, one would not work with the other, and um, I was challenged by both to bring them together, and I was determined to do it. I was severely criticized uh, by some. Well, you put that person on this committee, and uh, they aren't with you. Why would you do that? The better to keep watch on them, my dear. <laughs> you know, that kind of strategy and whatnot. And of course, the financial problem was tremendous. Um, the organization was almost bankrupt. Radios radio shows and begged for money. I said, all of you who believe, send one dollar. <laughs> you know, there should be Just enough to get, us, yes. to, to get us out of, uh, out of debt. Um, we did something unusual, and I have to give credit to C. Dolores Tucker, now, oh, now, now, yes. now deceased. Yes. Um, she said, along with um, two other supporters, Let's have an inauguration for you. There had never been an inauguration. Um, she put it together with staff. And we raised and received promises of over $2.5 million. We were like $4 million in debt. Um, the monies came in except for about a $1 million. And the whole idea was to bring someone in as president who could operate and not have such a big deficit. If it had not been for the Ford Foundation, and I, I must ah. say this, uh, we would not have made it because I had, as chairman of the board, the responsibility of letting employees go. And these people I'd known for years, had worked with, had even reported to and whatnot. And these are people who had worked a month or so. Uh, without pay, and we couldn't even give them a severance. So that foundation made it possible for us to do that and to move on. And, you know, I had to establish, I didn't have to, but I did, an ethics uh, committee and policy. Oh, J wonderful. Just the, the whole corporate bit there, but I emphasize again, I did not do it alone. There were people who believed, who gave their one dollars, who had their fish fries, their chicken dinners and everything, and said, because we believe. And I told the board members, I will not look to be in this position forever. Once the organization is on its feet, I'm stepping down. They didn't believe me. How long but were you the chairperson? I was... I'm sorry? How long? How long were you the chairperson? Three, three years. Three years. So you three put years. in three years. Three years. It, yes. it, it was on its way. I believe very firmly that one should not hold on to power forever. 
that there needs to be new blood, there needs to be young blood, might not always agree or whatnot, but isn't that what developing leadership is about? Preparing others to come in and take these major roles. So that's what I'm all about, that's what I was about there. And then, and I see it happening. The board had only 14 women on the 64 member board when I came on. That's changed. I'm not sure how many we have now, but we have lots of women. Outspoken women, bold women, <laughs> yes. who aren't going to take anything off of anybody, who are going <laughs> to speak to them. And I, I just, I, I feel so good to have been able to have played a role in that, even though it almost killed me.